Hey folks, here's a wild boar recipe for a part of the hog or deer I'm guessing a lot of folks just overlook. The shanks. They make a rich, savory, slow-cooked dish that we love, especially on a winter's day. This is basically the same as a recipe for domestic pork shanks that's posted at craftbearing.com by Milena Perrine. So big thanks for Craft Bearing and look for a link to them in the description. So, braised hog shanks with dark beer gravy. First note the before and after look of these shanks off a 300 pound boar. This is two four shanks and one rear shank I put in to illustrate the difference. This would make a dinner for three or a hungry couple, especially if I'm half of that couple. Job one after defrosting is to trim away some of that exterior membrane and silver screen. Don't go overboard though. Braising is meant to melt those connective tissues into good chow. This is all about the aromatics. That starts with the rough chopped onions, celery, garlic, enough carrots to cover the bottom of your roasting pan, and then beer, fresh thyme, and oregano, and a couple bay leaves. Add salt and pepper if you want, but we like to go salt free, and folks can add pepper on their plate if they want. Heat up a cast iron skillet to medium high heat with enough avocado oil to cover the bottom, and uh, go ahead and preheat the oven to 275 degrees. Brown the exterior of the meat the best you can with a minute or two on each surface, uh, but don't cook it. And when each piece has some nice browning on the outside, go ahead and put it on top of the carrots and then grab the next shank. When everything's brown, reduce the heat and saute the celery and onions just until they're starting to get translucent and then add the garlic for the last minute or two. You don't want to burn the garlic. Saute it until it's just nice and fragrant. You can leave the veggies in the pan for the next step, but I like to just pour, go ahead and pour them over the shanks and count on the fond in the pan and the beer for the next step. I love a local craft beer called the Bearded Theologian. It's by Cabin Boys Brewery, and liking this beer is actually what had me looking for a beer-braised recipe in the first place. It's a Belgian quadruple, which fits with the advice from craft beering to choose an amber, a brown ale, a porter, or a stout that's balanced and that the hops don't dominate. Use some of the beer to deglaze the pan, then add a cup of beef stock. Then add in the fresh thyme, the oregano, two bay leaves, and the rest of the beer. We couldn't find fresh oregano, but we have a leaf oregano from New Mexico that's great in this recipe. If you use and dried spices, just use your nose and your taste buds. Bring that mixture to a boil and then pour it over the shanks. Next, you just cover the pan tightly with foil and you're going to bake this until it's tender and fallen off the bone. This can take three hours or more, uh, but cook time is going to depend on the size of your shanks, your oven, and the type of pan you use. So you might start checking at about two and a half hours. Once it's done, use a strainer to separate the liquid from the carrots and the aromatic and uh, set those carrots aside. They're tasty. With these shanks, we separated the contents, but then we put the shanks back in the oven on a roasting rack for a quick exterior crisp. Wild game's lean and it doesn't add drippings to your broth like domestic pork would. So if you try a quick brown with the shanks and the liquid, you risk losing all your gravy. And the rest is just gravy. Add a little cornstarch slurry to the liquid and simmer until the gravy is the consistency that you like. While it simmers, you can strip the meat off the bones. Sometimes we go ahead and add the meat to the gravy, and sometimes we serve them separately and just ladle the gravy over the top. Use your imagination for side dishes, but we like these as a simple two-pot dinner with mashed potatoes, your carrots, and your shanks, and of course, a good glass of beer.